Top Gun Maverick officially opens in theaters this week and to celebrate we've been giving you behind the scenes looks at the blockbuster hit and its connection to San Diego. Tonight CBS 8 Steve Price takes us to Coronado and the popular bar that's featured in the film. Sort of. Take a close look at this scene from the new Top Gun movie. The planes hanging from the ceiling, the big white beer steins and the bell. All of it copied from right here, the I bar on Naval Air Station, North Island. When you watch the movie, you're in the bar, you're in the Navy. And Captain Brian Ferguson served as the Navy's technical advisor for the film. His job was to make everything as realistic as possible. His nearly 30 years as a Navy pilot made these flying scenes better, but Captain Ferguson also knew incorporating the camaraderie of the I-Bar was an important part of the experience. You know, we'll all pile in here, we'll all tell stories, they'll be you know, laughing and joking and, and beer spilling and lies being told, and it's, it's great. Captain Ferguson brought the movie's director and producers here, including Tom Cruise, and they immediately fell in love. They looked around and they thought, this is perfect. There's so much character, there's so much history. We want to use this. Unfortunately, Ibar's size made filming inside impossible. So what you see in the movie is actually a set, but some of the props are from the bar, whose history dates back to the 1930s. It was originally only open to senior officers, but today the bar is open to anyone with permission to be on the base. Before you come into the I-Bar, you should know there are some rules because if you break them, you are forced to buy the entire bar a drink. Number one, no hats. Number two, no touching the planes. And number three, no cell phones on the bar. Deb Stoneman has been a bartender here for almost 20 years. I just feel so gifted to be able to be here this many years and to meet the people that I have because it's incredible. Deb is surrounded by tradition, patches on the walls, planes from different decades hanging from above, a custom started by former bartender and Pearl Harbor survivor Walter Simmons, and the beer steins that belong to active duty aviators. So when you join a squadron, you uh, get a call sign and then they make these mugs for you. An actress plays Deb in the movie and they changed her name to Penny. Funny side story, that actress came in after filming a bell scene and put her cell phone down on the bar. Just don't care who you are, don't care where you come from, don't care what's in your wallet, you're buying around because this is our house and that's what we do as our, as our tradition. At NAS North Island, Steve Price, CBS 8.